Juste un an après la sortie du contesté Need for Speed Pro Street, Black Box et Electronic Arts remettent déjà le couvert avec Need for Speed Undercover. C'est le 21 novembre prochain que le nouvel épisode de la célèbre série de courses automobiles débarquera en Europe. Contrairement au dernier volet en date qui se voulait toujours plus hype et tourné vers le tuning, Undercover renoue avec les origines de la série. Les poursuites en diablé avec la police sont ainsi de retour, mais le jeu mise aussi sur un scénario hollywoodien. On incarnera un jeune homme engagé par la police pour infiltrer une organisation criminelle. Si le scénario paraît à la base plutôt optionnel pour un jeu de course, les développeurs lui ont tout de même consacré beaucoup de temps, histoire de proposer un jeu cohérent à tout niveau. Need for Speed Underground was an example of a story-driven racing game, which really gave the player a reason or a motivation to perform the typical race events, circuits and sprints, but actually have some career structure uh, wrapped up into that, and actually some story that incenses them through it. Uh, we really like to create and uh, explore those creative avenues when we go to bring the best action driving game to the, the fans. Uh, really with the uh, advent or, or reintroduction of cops, uh, our large open world, and our live cinematic story this year especially, uh, we think we're giving uh, everybody the best installment of Need for Speed to date. We'll see about a place in my crew. I'm gonna shut you down. Well, there's several new innovations, uh, as I alluded to. Um, the, the newest game mode uh, takes place on the interstates of Tri-City, and it's called the Highway Battle. And the Highway Battle is really just taking advantage of the region we created. It's uh, uh, three distinct cities, all connected by an extensive interstate system. And the interstate system gives us this playground to innovate on gameplay modes for race games. Uh, like with Carbon, we used uh, the canyons and the Canyon Duel. Uh, with Undercover, we're using the interstate systems in the Highway Battle. It's a front of the roller coaster, uh, visceral thrill chase and be chased through heavy traffic with police pursuits and AI racers and gameplay modes and uh, uh, pursuit action in order to really bring that sense of fast travel, uh, heavy traffic, uh, interstate systems of an open world gameplay to, uh, to a competitive environment. Histoire de varier les environnements et de rompre avec l'expérience proposée par Pro Street, Black Box a opté pour un monde ouvert, comme dans la plupart des volets de la série. Il est donc possible de circuler à sa guise dans plusieurs villes pour y trouver des missions et faire avancer le scénario. Well, Tri-City Bay is our largest, most complex world to date. Uh, it, can, it includes three distinct cities, as well as a mountainous region. Um, each of the cities, both based on their geography in the region, um, are visually and, and uh, uniquely different to each other. Uh, Sunset Hills is a past era derelict style architecture. Um, Port Crescent is our industrial waterfront port town. Um, much different, again, surface types that impact the physical attributes of the car and the way that the car is handling in those events versus uh, Palm Harbor, which is our downtown urban core island city, which is very much tighter uh, urban metropolis, high-rise glass architecture, where the same road networks where you'll have your sprints and your races, uh, checkpoints and circuit races uh, in all of the road networks, all the drivable surface in uh, Tri-City Bay is really the largest and most complex need for speed world to date. Comme pour chaque nouvel épisode, le moteur du jeu a également fait l'objet de modifications pour rendre la physique des voitures et les sensations de pilotage plus réalistes. In, in the way that we wanted to bring the action drive experience to the player this year with our heroic driving engine, it's really based upon a physical force simulator and amped up to 100. Um, we start with manufactured dynamometer stats. Um, we have the ability to model over 430 unique points in our physics engine. And then we have the ability to add to not only the manufacturer stats, but our own heroic driving physics to enable players to do things like full speed rolling 360s, uh, reverse 180s. We've tuned reverse drive. Uh, we have many uh, deep racing mechanics at play, like clutch kicks to initiate drifts and drift mechanics, as well as trail braking. Now that we're emulating, or rather, um, uh, we're actually modeling uh, what a all-wheel drive car does on four brake calibers versus a rear-wheel drive car does on rear brake drums, we understand how much force is being applied in the controller to a particular set of brakes, and how much top-end speed that's taking off so that the player can continue to throttle into a corner. So given that we're modeling many physical properties of a real world force, there are more than one way to take a corner in Need for Speed Undercover. You can only replace the whole 
Ce qu'Undercover a conservé de ProStreet en revanche, c'est la gestion très poussée des dégâts. Damage this year is making a, 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 a big comeback thanks to the innovations on Pro Street to the damage model. We have a procedurally generated damage model which is uh, purely, in most cases in the free roam world, uh, visual and really uh, a sell to the action cinematic adventure that we have here in Need for Speed Undercover. Uh, but in some missions, in some particular game modes, damage is a lost state whereby you have to actually complete the mission uh, without actually uh, hitting a threshold of damage uh, to, to complete Completed successfully. Uh, so while we like the idea that the damage is visual and not a performance uh, uh, debilitating feature, uh, we use it as a gameplay mechanic in order to create a bit of a, uh, a dynamic as well as a difficulty for the player that he has to actually take care of a car for once in our game uh, to deliver it safely, to deliver it uh, damage free, or potentially just to deliver it without actually crashing it up completely. Uh, it's certainly just a fun element of uh, an action driving adventure that we have here. Ces derniers impactent directement sur le gameplay et permettent de rendre les courses plus incertaines, tout comme l'IA qui a été repensée pour coller à la progression du joueur. AI, uh, certainly another advancement in the game this year over previous games with the interaction of cops and traffic in such a large open world, uh, really a, a more tied directly to real world counterparts. The cops are, are very much intrinsically tied to the game's experience. So uh, they are a place where we focused a lot of attention this year in order to lend to the career progression we had to lend to the, the cop difficulty progression level and an even ramp up as the player per, uh, As the player drives uh, and progresses their leveling system, the cops are leveling in difficulty and tactics in vehicles and in top speeds to match the player's performance. So as the player is learning the controls, becoming more of an expert with Need for Speed Undercover, the cops are trying to match the ability uh, on the AI side in order to make it more difficult for the player. Need for Speed Undercover reviendra donc en grande partie à ce qui a fait le succès de la série. Les développeurs ont fait un effort indéniable pour répondre à l'attente des joueurs déçus par l'épisode précédent. Mais on espère tout de même que ces quelques innovations suffiront pour renouveler un gameplay qui commence quelque peu à tourner en rond. Réponse dans une critique au cours d'un prochain 101%.